Hello, hello, and welcome back to Soul Star Radio. I am joined again uh, by the very wonderful and very warm hugging person uh, who is Raul C. Estevez. He's an author and also a wonderful healer and psychic medium who's written a book, a, a couple of them actually, uh, and he's, he's continually writing more because uh, he loves to share. And this is my angels connections and there's some other ones uh that he's got as well and uh yeah so we're taking your calls live today uh so do feel free to call in and have a reading with ral uh who is more than happy to share his love with you so you'll probably feel the healing energy coming in over the line uh so you know do absolutely take that up and enjoy uh so welcome to the show ral how are you doing this morning evening oh, and afternoon okay. <laughs> yes, whatever, we, whatever you are in the world. Uh, thank you so much, Jacqueline, for once again inviting me to your show. Amazing to be here, and from my heart to yours and to everybody out there, so much love. Oh, you're absolutely welcome, and a lot of love to you. And last time you were here, I forgot to show you something, which has really oh. remiss me. <gasps> uh, and... <laughs> I hope my producer doesn't kill me, but I might have to show you later. Uh, but if you can see just here, there's like mm -hmm. little feathers. There's actually yeah. butterflies all over the ceiling. I can see one just next to you, a blue and yeah. black butterfly. It's just a beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, so, um, so you're in the right place. It's all happening. You've got your butterflies, so we've got it all happening. While we're waiting for callers to come on in, uh, did you want to tell them about your story with the butterfly? Certainly. Um, my mother passed away about 29 years ago now, and I was studying at the time. And long story short, I ran from um, the New South Wales State Library to the Westmead Hospital where she was uh, there. And she was truly waiting for me. And at the time, she just whispered to me, saying, Raul, every time that you see a butterfly, it will bring a beautiful message from me to you. And from that day on, Jacqueline, it's been unbelievable. I've seen butterflies even when there was snow around me. And that just truly blows your mind. And as you know, the other day when we went to our book launch of um, our beautiful book, Journey of a Light Worker, um, as I was leaving with my partner Wayne, we closed the gate at home. And it was really cold here in Ballarat. And again, a white butterfly just circled us a couple of times and left. And white was my mother's name in Spanish, Blanca. So I knew that it was her saying, go ahead and enjoy your day today with all the beautiful people that you're going to be meeting. And, and as you know, we had a fantastic day on the launch of Journey of a Light World. We really did. And what I really love was that down-to-earth humour, fun, <laughs> and, just, you know, let's just enjoy this. That's the sort of yeah. thing that um, you really bring to people. And, um, yeah, it's a, it's a beautiful light to be sharing with the world. And uh, we've actually, ah, oh, mm -mm, we've got our first caller. Are you ready, Raoul? Indeed. Let's do it. <laughs> let's go for it. We have Kelly in Michigan, USA. Are you there, Kelly? Hello, how are you tonight? Hello and welcome to the show. It's lovely to have you here. I've actually got with you, you. Uh, and with me tonight, um, Mr. Raul Estevez, who's um, a really beautiful um, uh, psychic healer and medium. And I think I might hand you over to Raul. Go for it, Raul. Okay, Kelly, I'm just, I was shuffling some angel cards that I got here, but the, the energy that I got just by hearing a little bit of your voice there is that you got a beautiful energy, and the message that they immediately, the angels gave me in my ear was to um, don't worry too much, um, because you know what? You got this, and you got it in such a big way that perhaps because it's so second nature to you, you don't realize what everybody else is actually seeing your progress. And as I was shuffling the cards and I drew a card, the card that is there for you is success. You are flying as high as that angel, Kelly. Don't allow people to bring you down because sometimes people like perhaps the old Kelly and the new Kelly is emerging. It's like the little caterpillar into the butterfly and that's what's happening to you. But success is coming your way. Think and fast, get ready. But also you got this because you have done the preparation. Just don't allow that thick and fast to overwhelm you. 
um, take it one step at a time. You will be perhaps, um, if I could put it in a way, bombarded by different ideas and different offers. Be discerning and realize which one resonates with you. And I usually say, just drop into your heart chakra and think, okay, is this for me? And if the answer that comes back is yes, and you are sort of like flying high, go for it, because success is truly yours. You've been working at it, take the next step, and don't be afraid because the angels got you. And whenever you get that sense of fear, truly ask the angels to help you, and you will see that they will start giving you signs. And when I talk about the angels, Kelly, it's, it's not about saying, well, um, I would like to win a million dollars and they're just gonna drop it in your head. What it means is follow the guidance. You are gonna have to take action steps as you were doing so far. Continue moving forward. Success is yours. And this is the right time for you. There's nothing to be afraid of. And also take care of the romance in there because together with success, romance is coming your way in a more beautiful form. And you may be already with somebody in your life, but what this means is that you're connecting at a deeper level because you as a soul living a human experience, you are evolving and so is your relationship with your loved one and with your loved ones all around you. I hope that this helps you, Kelly. Yes, um, I just have a question, um, and I don't know if I missed it. What do you see as far as my future in this new career? I'm supposed to be taking phase two of this test. Do you see me passing it the first time? Um, okay. What they're actually showing me is a yes, but also, Kelly, remember that what she said is taking action steps. So the next card that they shall show is... It's up to you. And the up to you means, and I know, and I know, Kelly, because I am an educator, I went to study myself. It's up to you is, you know what? You got the books, you got the information, you got to the lectures. Now, sort of like, battle down and get on with studying and not studying for the sake of remembering. This is going to be a test of knowledge, but also how are you going to be applying these skills? And Yes, if you put the work, this is yours. It's yours for the taking because the first card that came out for you, Kelly, is success. You need to believe in you. You are doing this because it's something that you would like to do and that you were actually putting time and effort into it. So do not buy in any sense of fear. When that comes up, just remind yourself, talk to yourself and say, Kelly, you got this. You've studied, you put the effort. So it's really up to you. The angels are guiding you. And the success card was there at the beginning. So do not be afraid. This is yours. Okay. And did I answer your question? Yes, you did. Okay. And do you see anything else in there? Uh, let me just have a look. Okay, another thing. How about my another... husband? Would he... Oh, yeah. okay. I'll wait to hear what you say. Your husband. Your husband. Sure. Okay. Let's go with the husband. Uh, they were saying that apart from taking care of your career that I showed you, um, take care of your um, relationship, yes? The romance. Yes. Uh, you are... Okay, it shows that you've been kind of like pulled apart by different sets of circumstances and by life. And it's truly time to now join forces together and the one heart. So feeling the love for one another, but as a person totally, and as a soul living a human experience, and I just shuffle other cards, and here the romance card is saying, this is your soulmate, this is a person that you are meant to be with, and in all reality, Kelly, at times you are having hard times with a relationship, but such is life, and even if you go to the other side where you may think that the grass is greener, you're still going to encounter the same situation, so I guess that what I'm saying is give this relationship with your husband a chance, feel the love, feel the love as you both are evolving. And if you pay attention to the word evolution, the first four letters of evolution spell backwards okay. love. But with love, you're going okay. to be able to go forward. Beautiful. Okay. Um, 
Thank you, okay. Kelly, for your call. Um, uh, and thank you also, Raoul, for that reading for Kelly. And so really you were, you had it all encapsulated there for her and uh, hopefully Kelly can listen back to that reading uh, later and, and get more from that. And you can also, Kelly, connect with us on Facebook on the Soul Star Radio page uh, where you also find information about Raoul there. Uh, we've also got another call here. We've got Claudia in Sydney, Australia. Hello, Claudia. Are you there? I'm here. Hello and welcome to the show. And how are you uh, this actually uh, morning for all of us in Australia and, of course, evening in, in uh, the US for our US listeners. But um, I'll hand you over to Raoul and he can have a chat with you. Thank you. Oh, I lost the audio there. Yeah, that's okay. So, Raoul, if you got, can you hear us now? Yeah, very good. So, we've got Claudia on the line for you. Okay, Claudia, any particular areas that you would like me to concentrate on? Um, I'm not sure what oh, you what you channel. Okay, I'll I'll see what the angels would like me to uh, to tell you at this point in time. Let's just go with the flow, shall we? No worries. Okay. As a soul living a human experience, you've been going through a lot, and there's a lot of there's a lot of ache physically as well as emotionally. So what they're saying for you now, and I'll show you the card that just came up, it is a time for recovery for you. And you've got a beautiful angel just there behind you, holding you and embracing you and saying and saying to you, I'm here for you, Claudia. Don't feel alone because you are not. That beautiful energy is right behind you. It's like this beautiful motherly hug or your grandmother giving you this hug when you were a child and you feel fully protected. Um, mm -hmm. Unfortunately, we sign up to be a, a, a soul living a human experience and we cannot truly avoid those growing pains. But things mm -hmm. will actually subside and they are showing me the number three which the number three will indicate for you, which in the, perhaps in the next three days, three weeks, things are going to start to turn around and to improve on the way that you feel. There's nothing wrong, totally wrong medically, and you can go and see your GP or your doctor if you like, but it is more about that ache of the soul that it actually makes you ache. Uh, in your body as well. Nothing is going to go wrong. It's unlikely that anything is wrong. It's just a period in your time that you go through the high and the low, and now you're in the low, but you're feeling kind of like that growing pain. Things will actually change. In a year from now, they're showing me that you're going to be wondering, what was I, what was I worried about? Look at my life. But you know what, Claudia? That life will change because you are changing and because you decided to take the necessary steps. You're no longer sitting back and waiting for things to happen. You realize now that you need to take charge. And by taking charge, you're going to see that you're going to move forward in a much faster way. Okay. And what we thought? Sorry, what was that? Do you have any further questions? Yeah, I'm kind of at a bit of a crossroads professionally at the moment where I can kind of take two roads. Just wondering if you're getting anything on that. Okay. Literally, literally it's that part of um, uh, the two of pentacles are sitting there as well. And also I was getting um, these colours of orange, coral and gold. And so it really ties in with what you were saying, uh, Raoul, there. Um, but, yeah, yes. certainly it shows that kind of sense of how do I weigh this up, how do I balance it, and everything you've been saying about having to deal with the physical body as well. Uh, but, yeah, keep going, uh, Raoul. You've got it. Um, they're showing me, yes, the fork on the road for you, um, Claudia. And mm -hmm. what they're showing me, and I, I cannot clearly see those two options, but what they're showing me here at this point in time is... Take the right one. And when I'm saying the right one, I'm not saying the incorrect one. I'm saying, look at the two options in front of you. Take the one on the right. Okay. It may make sense at the time, too, because is that like an A or B type thing, Ralph? Yes. Yes. It is like an A, or a and B. 
Yes, go for the one on the right when you look at, I, I can see the two options kind of like in your, in your mind. I can see them clearly, you're looking at them. Go for the one on your right. You may think, you may think that the one on your left is much more attractive. And that attraction is only superficial because when you dig a little bit more into that second option, you realize that that superficial gold that is shining, well, in a few months' time, it's not going to be that way. The one on the right is perhaps the less traveled road. Uh, it's going to take you a little longer to get to where you want to be, but you're going to get there with a great foundation. And that's what it's all about. Don't go just for for example, do not go just for the money. Go for whatever money will bring you, but also how are you going to grow in your professional career that later on will bring greater opportunities? Because the one that gives you money is short-lived. That will be the money and nothing else will come that way. So go for the one on your right, please, Claude. Okay. Can I ask, um, do, I, do, do I go business or study? Does that kind of narrow it down? <clears throat> yeah, let me just have a look. And I was talking to you about the one on the right, and here we go, the angel joining you. Yes, the two opportunities are good. Um, I will say to you, books are in your cards. They are showing me, yeah, study. You're going to have to go. It's going to take you a little longer. It's going to be a little harder but it will pay dividends in the long run. The other one will give you instant gratification, but in a year's time, you're going to say, why did I do that? Instead of taking the steps, remember, with this new career, this new study, one step at a time, don't allow yourself to be overwhelmed by the extent of what you need to do. What I always say to people in something that major Celebrate every little milestone. So divide that in little chunks. And every time that you get a win, you celebrate. Because then you're going to see when you get to your graduation time, it's going to be a beautiful celebration. Because you've been acknowledging every step of the way what you've done. Don't wait for the big celebration. Celebrate all the little successes. But yes, yeah. go for the books. Okay. Beautiful. Thank you, then, Claudia, for calling in. And isn't it interesting today, Ralph? We've had two callers and we're sort of looking at the books with both of them. We're looking at study exams and tests. And um, and it's really interesting as well, um, sort of in the way sometimes people will take in what you're saying. And, um, and then you sort of find yourself going... Okay, I'm just going to put that a different way now. Uh, sure. And then it still comes through. So sometimes people also, um, it, it's also about being able to integrate the message. And uh, so it's really beautiful how you were able to do that. Uh, and, and a great sort of guidebook for if someone's sort of uh, starting to do readings, you know, oh, okay, well, I said it this way. How do I now put it so that it, it really comes through? And sometimes it's that second explaining that brings it through better, isn't it? And also the, the angels always confirm, like we were talking with Claudia, and towards the end they're confirming, yes, you've got two options. They're clear. They're there. But, yes, don't go for the shiny one because the shiny one will not last forever. And, and that's the thing as well, because people often go for what seems immediately, um, oh, well, this will do me now. And that it's sort of, it's problem upon problem upon problem when if that's not a genuine feeling of this is what I feel, you know, in my heart drawn to. And uh, often we're taught, oh, you know, does it make you know, does it make sense on paper? But the best decisions I've seen um people make in a range of fields, including business, uh, is actually more, you hear the words, I looked at this, I looked at the figures and it felt right. You know, like, hang on, that sentence doesn't quite match, does it? Uh, I looked at the figures and it felt right. <laughs> so they could have looked at two sets of figures for two sets of options that both looked equally good, but one of them felt right. Yeah, sure, that's just logic. Sure it is. Uh, <laughs> So it is, it's about that listening, isn't it? And it's about truly listening to perhaps to what it feels right, but also the angels will always tell you. Uh, mm. It's up to you, as I was saying in the other card, you need to take the steps, you need to do the investigation, you need to talk to people, talk to somebody in that field that it could actually perhaps look at those figures and say, well, you know what, 
Yeah, although they may look right, when you go a little bit further, it shows you that perhaps expenditure for that business is huge. So I wouldn't touch it. And that's when you start to realize that the angels are at work with you. And yeah. it's not that this ethereal energy all around you, which it is part of it, but it's also that idea, live on Earth today. <laughs> As I usually say, don't live in a human experience. The angels are not going to just fly down and deliver this to you. As I said before to you, um, um, Jacqueline, when I went to university the first time, I'm encountered at Melbourne University with the logo, the emblem, an angel. So I knew that I needed to be there. But you know what? The angels didn't say, well, you know what? Bro, yeah, go home, sit there, and in about three years, we'll send you a degree. It doesn't <laughs> have to happen. Yeah, yeah, doesn't happen. <laughs> I need to go and do the study. So it's a matter of listening, but then follow through. Absolutely beautiful. Absolute pleasure to have you back on uh, air with me today and um, uh, beautiful readings you've brought through for people. Was there any, if we had someone listening and they're like wanting to develop their gifts or they're having fear at this point in time about the direction they're taking right now, it's like, ah, um, in a minute, what could you say um, to them to help them uh, on their way with that or exercise you can give them? Um, I will say to you firstly, yes, most importantly, simply allow. Don't judge the information that you may be getting and that little voice in your head that keeps on repeating and your ego is saying you're going bonkers. No, you're not going bonkers. Just listen deeply. An exercise that I always do is truly go outside in nature, sit in a garden. I've got a beautiful garden at the back of our home, that it has beautiful trees and a row of white roses. White roses brings a message from the angels about purification. And just take a, a whiff of that white rose and sit there and let it be and appreciate the smell and appreciate the beauty all around you. Because when you pay attention to the beauty around you, it's truly a reflection of the beauty within. But sometimes we're so busy with so many other things and we want to be, I don't know, they want to be, people want to be Jacqueline Close more. Well, you know what? There's only one Jacqueline. <laughs> Let Jacqueline be and do what she does best. Don't compare. Go within and find your own inner guidance, but be you because what you got to offer is uniquely to you. So when you're out there in nature, whether it's under a tree with roses, at the beach with your feet on the water, just allow the energy to flow and you'll see that slowly you're going to be up on that energy and getting the messages that you need to get and to be able to help others. But firstly, help yourself. Beautiful. Thank you so much, Raoul, for joining us again. And you can find Raoul on the Soulstar Radio uh, Facebook page and also on soulstarmedia.com. And you can find us also, of course, through A1R Psychic Radio. Find his books. We'll catch you next time on Soulstar Radio. In the meantime, <laughs> kumbaya, my lord. Kumbaya. kumbaya.